Guys, after I scaled up my long positions yesterday and predicted a breakout to the upside for the Bitcoin price, exactly this happened. We broke out of our falling wedge and actually managed to destroy the four hourly EMA ribbons completely and are now bouncing off of them. What this now means for the Bitcoin price, how high this pump can go and at what price levels we have to expect a big reversal and we should take some profits off our 7.5 million dollar long trades that I actually have open right now. You all together have probably way higher uh, long positions open but my 7.5 million dollars I will tell you exactly when I'm going to take profits and when I'm going to scale them back up again because all of this is going to happen today. So make sure to stick around till the very end of this video because I will also give you a big big update on the altcoins I also called in yesterday's video and I'm also going to let you know a few other altcoins that I'm right now invested in. So like I said, if you want to know what I'm talking about, stick around till the very end of this video. Now let's not talk too much, let's just jump right into the charts. And as always, I would really appreciate it if you could smash a thumbs up on this video. Please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell and for sure share the video with your friends so you don't miss out on any future uploads. So let's get right into the charts. As you guys remember, I predicted this breakout out of this falling wedge to the upside in yesterday's video. I mentioned that it would be important that with this breakout we break above the 4 hour EMA ribbons. All of this happened but Bitcoin now pretty much reached its price target because as you guys know the breakout target of a falling wedge or rising wedge is always the beginning of the wedge and as you guys can see we already reached the beginning of the wedge which, which uh, with the uh, price action um, in the last couple of hours. So now we are in a kind of way in a free zone so the bulls and also not the bears they don't have any price targets at the moment because all price targets from previous chart patterns have already been reached. So what does this mean now? This means that we have to look at other indicators and also we should look at support and resistance, horizontal support and resistance to find out what we can expect next from the Bitcoin price. And for this I want to go on the daily chart and what we can see there already is that Bitcoin is beautifully bouncing off the daily EMA ribbons. And I can already tell you guys if we are closing this daily candle above our daily EMA ribbons today I will scale up my long positions. I will scale my 7.5 million long positions up again. The same thing is if we close this daily candle inside of our daily EMA ribbons. This would mean for me that I will scale down my long positions back down again. Because as you guys remember, I showed this to you in yesterday's video. Every time when Bitcoin um, bounces off the EMA, daily EMA ribbons, we normally never see a daily candle closing back in the daily EMA ribbons. We only see that after we see a pump and then another retest of the daily EMA ribbons. So we, we never see a pump out of the daily EMA ribbons, a close out of the daily EMA ribbons and then a, the next daily candle or a, a few daily candles without a pump in between closing back, uh, back in the daily EMA ribbons because every time this happens we saw a big big correction and that's why I'm saying we have to close this daily candle above the daily EMA ribbons otherwise I will scale down my trades because the um, uh, um, the past has just shown that if the, the bulls are not able to push out of the daily EMA ribbons with a little bit of volume and a little bit of power it mostly means that the bears are still hiding in the bushes and are ready to attack and push the price back down again. Other than that guys where can we expect a reversal in the case that the bulls now manage to close the daily candle above the daily EMA ribbons. It's very simple guys and I showed it to you in yesterday's video. I'm really keeping an eye on the 49,000 to $50,500 level. I think in this area we can probably expect the first big struggles for the Bitcoin price uh, and for the Bitcoin bulls but I can already tell you that we will just have to wait for a very very simple thing and that's a continuation pattern on the four hourly time frame. So if we close this daily candle now above the daily EMA ribbons I expect a pump immediately in the $50,000 price range and there we just need a continuation pattern and we, we don't want to see a dump back below the 0 0.68 Fibonacci retracement level otherwise I will also take profits and scale down my long positions because as you guys remember I showed it to you in yesterday's video in uh, the last uh, in the last uh, uh, the last time we saw this price action this price action it's exactly the same as this one I, I explained to you why that is in yesterday's video 
we can already see that we got it rejected exactly between the uh, 0618 and the 0786 Fibonacci retracement level. So this time we definitely need a, a continuation pattern and not a rejection on the smaller time frames if we reach uh, those FIB levels on the daily uh, time frame. Other than that, guys, I would say let's just jump right into the altcoins. As you remember, I predicted an Elrond breakout yesterday and exactly that happened. We broke to the upside out of this uh, symmetrical triangle for Elrond. We didn't reach our price target yet. We reached the $300 level. So the bulls actually have a higher price target with Elrond at the moment. So if we manage to bounce, so if we manage to... Um, not close a four hourly candle below the $266 level for Elrond. I expect that Elrond will reach its price target during the next couple of days uh, at three, $330. So I'm still um, uh, staying in my Elrond um, spot position. I don't have a leverage position on Elrond. And then also, guys, I wanted to let you guys know that I bought some chain link. The last couple of days, I bought some. Uh, oops, this was. Uh, I bought some. Alpha Finance Lab, guys, I'm just running through my altcoins now. I uh, bought some Alpha Finance Lab. For sure, I still have my Elrond. And as you guys remember, I predicted a breakout for Solanium in yesterday's video. And boom, guys, Solanium, oh, whoa, whoa, what happened to the Solanium price? Solanium actually exploded up to $5.70. So we saw a massive 35% gain during one day after I uploaded my video and called this altcoin. And I have to say, guys, it's it hasn't reached my exact price target. I had a price target of $6, but it looks like that uh, someone in the last couple of hours did some massive profit taking on Solanium. So, guys, always keep in mind, um, I mean, I called Solanium the first time at $3.60. Always keep in mind, guys, if you buy in such an altcoin that can be very volatile, keep in mind, if we pump massively, just take the money out that you invested in, leave the rest inside, and just enjoy the ride. Either if it goes to the downside, you don't lose any money. If it goes to the upside, you just gain money without having any risk. That's how I mostly do it with those small, um, more risky altcoins. So that's it for now, guys. I would really appreciate it, like I said, if you could smash up the like button, if you could subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below and share the video with your friends. And other than that, I will see you in the next video tomorrow or depending if the Bitcoin price goes completely crazy, maybe even later today. See you. Bye-bye.